Today I'm going to give you guys a quick short on the ADAS curve or the aggregate demand aggregate supply curve. The ADAS curve is made out of three curves, the long run aggregate demand curve, the short run aggregate supply curve, and the long run aggregate supply curve. Where all three curves of these meet, that's your Y star and your P star in the long run. Now this supply curve and this demand curve make a lot of sense, but what in the world is this long run aggregate supply curve? This tells you the natural rate of output or the full employment output, and it's just based on how much you could make if you had full employment in your economy, and so that's what the economy is going to tend to to in the long run, your short run aggregate supply curve, your short run aggregate demand curve, those can move around in the short run. In fact, it's the short run aggregate supply curve and the short run aggregate demand curve moving around that causes our economic cycle, where if our aggregate supply curve and our aggregate demand curve, if they meet to the right of the long run aggregate supply curve, the economy is too hot and we're happy in the short run, but we're going to have inflation in the long run. On the other hand, if our aggregate supply curve and our aggregate demand curve meet to the left of the long run aggregate supply curve, then output is down and we're in a recession, our economy is too cold and we're sad. So it's only at the point where all three of these curves meet that we're at our natural rate of output and our economy is running just right. Now, if you're thinking about the ADS curve in terms of monetary policy, the AES curve is what's moved by monetary policy where you can have contractionary policy, which increases the interest rate, or you can have expansionary policy, which decreases the interest rate. On the other hand, the aggregate demand curve is moved by fiscal policy or just spending in general. So if the government decides to spend more or lower taxes, then this curve is going to shift to the right. And if the government decides to spend less or tax people more than this curve is going to shift to the left. The long run aggregate supply curve can also change. It's going to change based on labor force and technology. So if more people enter the labor force or technology gets better, it's going to move that way. And if people leave the labor force or technology gets worse, then it's going to move that way. Again, this is just a quick video on the ADS model. Full length video linked in the description below. Follow for more.